Spectre on Twitter saying, Moko is so nasty. And he said in his own words, I expect him to get better than me someday. That's what been, ZD tweeted. I've been saying that low-key. I mean, I don't know about better than ZD because ZD's pretty cracked, but like Moko, I feel like has, actually, I can low-key see it. I can see Moko becoming like a top 20, 30 player in like a year or two. He's that good. Very, very true, very true. The potential is certainly there. Yeah. But he has to get through ZD today, which is already a mountain in and of itself. So let's see how this plays out. Because Absolutely. right now, they're both playing pretty similar colors, and it's kind of hard to see who's who sometimes. Yeah, a little bit. I'm just going to try and mark well, for the purple. Yeah, this is it's like watching two class fight or something like that. For real. All right, but so, so far, relatively even in percent. ZD is a very, tends to be kind of a jump heavy player when he's Fox, but it looks like um, right now I'm playing a relatively conservative kind of grounding game, both of these players. Yeah, and it's working out okay, but I mean, if ZD does just one more hit, dude's gonna explode and Moko's gonna be a stock down. Yep, ZD. All nice. right, good job for Moko. He got one, one jump call out turned into a good bit of damage for Moko. Great job. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why he's so deadly. Once he hits you, you're going to feel it because he's going to hit you five or six more times and then have the movement to, uh, you know, put you in the corner for another hit. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay, man, it's a fault. Uh, fast forward with the air dog. All right, yeah, here situation. Oh, I like that he kind of looked like it kind of like a slight fake on the trump. Excellent regain sense to go for the up smash out shield against that forward tilt. Oh, that's look. reactions. Yeah. And speaking of reactions, ZD had the reaction on that roll right there, almost able to touch with the grab, but not able to get anything. But now, it's small stage, this should be free. F tilt. Oh, great angle right there. That, was a, that was a ridiculous angle, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure nothing Wolf could do there would actually hit. Yeah. Maybe a perfectly spaced down air, but not quite. That one, same exact deal. And he finds a way back on stage, and now suddenly ZD in the corner. Okay, I like, <laughs> I like, I do like the Yomi there from Moko, just playing it safe, not putting out any hitboxes, just kind of like, all right, wait till he get, gets out and tries to hang himself. But no, he's gonna end up taking, putting, hanging up that stock on the shelf, but now getting a ton of damage. Wow, this is really, really looking like the Moko show. Oh, for real, but it's time for us to switch channels. ZD's on the other side, and I'm pretty sure that old man ZD has a remote this time around. It's wild to hear him be older than Moko, but still. That was, stock was wild right there. Moko yeah. took the remote, switched it right back. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing punish game for Moko. And on top of that, just the fact that he's able to get these call outs in neutral and actually manage to take out ZD in these, like, like just snapping out of the air with these jumps is a big deal for him. Does Ooh. it again! Took and gets his a double jump, took his double jump. Yup, exactly. Turned that into a colossal amount of damage. Gets 35 off of it and counting. And now lapping ZD in percent, we have Moko. That was a blink of an eye. ZD on the back rope right here, looking for maybe a fair in the back here, but every time he comes out oh, the button, God. Moko's already parried. Sheesh. Absolutely lethal. Another parry from Moko. Another oh, a parry in return from ZD. Now here's the situation. After dip, you will jump. He rolled and he gets a down smash. Back hit of the front uh, hit, though, so not going to be enough to kill. That was a very bizarre hitbox, yes. That's cap. That's, yeah. that, that is the that fakest move is not kill. real. <laughs> that move is not real, bro. <laughs> Gets oh, that is all right there. Now here's the thing. Uh, I can see ZD set certainly winning this still. Only needs about three touches with the rabies he's got. That still is fake. also a lie. Yep. I was like, do not go out there. Yeah, good job going for this for the up the inside of the side. Be a lot harder to catch that one. That's Gets one. A ton of one one touch. Only needs two more touches. That is a lie. That is so fake. They, the game lied to me three times with a smile on its face. You do love to see it if you are ZD <laughs> living this long still. But he won't live another one, I'm sure. Oh this. yeah. Unless the center stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's two. Okay, now he's at back hit percent. This is an issue. Moko kind of feeding a little bit. He's he's mixing a little bit of nares now. That's oh three. My, oh. oh my god, that was that was it. That was it, bro. That's that. Um, oh no, another godlike angle. But there's the forward tilt from ZD with the ledge trap. He's so polished. Do he's it. so seasoned. He won't miss those. And he gets the down air. Amazing catch on the Firefox. And that was such a close series of events like really like it got into such a scramble at the end and uh, like i said bro three touch three all, touch. Like, all it took was like okay two hits all right cool get him off stage yeah. and then just get the edge back yeah. you're actually completely right that down smash had not or had connected that would have been absolute death wolf or excuse me mm. fox being so light shoot that character's not living that at oh, all yeah, fast, fast. and wolf also like Weirdly enough, in, in Brawl, he was actually a, like a, a moderately heavy character. In this game, he's, a, he's his weight units are 94, so that's moderate, like about middleweight, slightly on the lighter side, but 
So it's enough to live against that uh, lying move yeah. <laughs> that we call Fox back here. That move does not exist. Just close your eyes, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looking like hopefully the, hopefully the game will tell a little bit more of the truth now that we're going to Titan City. Smaller side blast zones. Might do Melko a favor, but he was, but he was looking so commanding in that last game. For real. Just a little bit of fraying at the edges. And, oh, no jump here. Yeah, what? he's going to have to hold all that until all oh, the wolf flash actually eating so much damage right there. Yeah, forward tilt was utterly, like, that was, that was a great forward tilt from him. Gets the jab, actually. Ooh. Another jump call out. That's, okay, that's the Moko. The mm -hmm. Moko is just the short hop up there, and then it'll auto cancel. But if they jump, all right, cool, bet. Take a 35. Yep. Take a 30 something percent. Yep, and I can stay control too. It's a bargain. Mm -hmm. Okay, late hip dash tag. Not actually able to get that full hop in the forward air drag down right there. I think that would have been likely a stock even. Mm -hmm. Very, very measured gameplay from both these players. Going for, going for the lies. <laughs> I, I did that just legit. Some just, cheeky stuff. It's just no, no you're I, I, huh? I, I propagate falsehoods. <laughs> <laughs> I mean when I spread information on the internet. <laughs> Oh, what, what an angle! That, that was a that was a pixel perfect angle to land on the platform That's with right. minimal lag. That's he, insane. That's so wild. I thought he was going to drop through and grab the ledge. I, my ankles are in shambles right now. Yep. And both both players' first stocks are in shambles. Nowhere to be seen. ZD able to take that stop first stop, but Moko cleaning up afterwards. Okay. Oh, missing the uh, dash input right there gets the action on forward smash, but. Well, safe enough on shield when they're not expecting it, so you're good. I do like that ZD's putting out the down smash of the ledge just in case. He's been getting sick. He, like just like that's like yeah, like conditioning in a sense. You might have been gotten away with those uh, angles on those on those fireboxes up until now, but you always gotta respect the option. Yep. I mean, if you miss it once on Town City, yeah, you're done. Good stage awareness right there from ZD. Yang away to avoid any kind of pop. But, oh, you're gonna eat a, a few of these. The what reaction is the, the horizontal train was looking so serious just now. Yeah, no stops on that one until the very edge of the stage. Goes for a lead trump in back air, but that mm. trump angle's really high on Fox. Yeah, he's got the weirdest trump angle in the game, no doubt. Yeah, it's like Fox and Meta Knight. They just are in a different zip code <laughs> by the end. Yeah. All right, new situation. Moko looking to hold stage control. I love ZD's patience right there. Not taking a step forward until he knew that it was And safe. the same can be said about Moko as well. He's really not pushing the envelope at all and just play, and just trying to find his opportunity. But ZD, with his patience in return, not getting caught lacking by any means. Yeah, dipping, bleeps the stage a little bit. And, oh, man, he doesn't have a jump here, actually. Yeah, this is going to be so hard to come back from. And ZD going all the way to the near blast zone just to make that recovery happen. Yeah, well, yeah, Wolf's got some huge air drift and really high air speed, so that's definitely working out in dividends for him. That was a miss input. Yeah. <laughs> that, was a, that was a definitely miss. Oh, almost hitting the upside. Just barely, barely whiffing. Okay. Moko often not to go off stage, I agree with, because, I mean, sure, it's decent bait, but, like, if you get hit once, you're probably dead. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely the, oh, that was a great job, and he got an answer, got a lead as an SD. This is that really bad percent for Fox, a little bit of Marthritis, if you will, but in this sense, it's more so the fact that your kill confirms no longer work, and now you got to go for one of those raw bears, something like that. And you have to put yourself out there as Fox, who is a glass cannon character. Mm -hmm. Yep, just one misinput is certain death. Will he go for the left trump? No, just baits it. Tries to land another back air, but ZD proved to that is just going to hold shield. And now mm -hmm. Moko, as you said, he has to commit hard, but yeah. I don't think he's in the mood to do that. Wow. Okay, that was extremely, okay. extremely clutch to get that run up oh, on the laser of all things. Point blank laser punish. Yeah. And good discipline to hold it all the way through. I see people like sometimes get hit by the bayonet and just die. Bit of a less, less of an issue with Fox's uh, up mm -hmm. smash, but still. Seeing another similar situation, ZD is back to the wall, but not really giving any giving anything to Moko. Moko's got to go for these situations in order to try to get something initiated. He, but ZD, on the other hand, he's got multiple ways to get a stock right now. Absolutely. But it's looking like it's starting to climb oh, for Moko. Wait. He's going to live. He will live, that just was, barely. I'm surprised that was still techable. Oh man, I'm so scared for Moko right now. Just up in the wall forward and shield, getting any bit of stage control that he can. ZD's patience is just masterclass, man. I can't believe he's in these corner situations and not flinching. There's the oh, oh, no, okay. what, what a follow up from. Oh, that was so, that was good. That was good. Almost got all, could turn that into a lot. What a kill right away, but oh Ooh, my god, wait a minute. late late dash attack follow up. What's the play? Lead trapping ZD has been so difficult this set. Get the jab lock! Wow!
Bro, I'm so glad there's a best of five set. This is about to be spicy. Yeah, this is it. This is about to be spicy, Remember back bro. when winners, winners semis was a chill best of three? Yep. Yeah, nah, Not nah, nah. This, this is what I need to see. Like, if, I, if I'm Raffle, I'm like, I'm T.O. Like, hey, man, good games. Yeah, 2-0. I hate to see it. Hey, 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 hey best sit, of five. Hey, hey, sit down. Emergency best of five. <laughs> Emergency, <laughs> Emergency best of five. Like, legit, legit. <laughs> Take a seat. Take a seat. You're not done yet. Yeah. Man, this summer of Smash is getting some good stuff, man. It is. Locally actually, and, yeah. like, nationally. Locally and nationally, indeed. Internationally as well. Shout out to Smash World Tour, the magic that's been happening, and all types of cool events going on across the across the country and across different continents. It's great to see. Yes, sir. Yep, and you've got Rising Talon Moko showing himself Showing himself to be really capable against ZD and not in both these games, despite the the like both games were very close. Not yeah. to be understated in any sense, even if he drops one game. Yeah, but ZD taking us to the battlefield, and I mean this is a little bit of a jungle gym for Fox, but no one knows that better than ZD. Absolutely. Locally, yeah, we often see like so many times, countless times, we see ZD and Dexter, and it's kind of just the opposite ends. We see Dexter with the wolf and ZD with the fox, but now we're seeing ZD with the wolf and Moko rising star with the fox. Ooh. Forward air, back air, almost clutches, but not quite. Another perfect angle from Moko. I think a part of the reason for this counter pick is he might be looking for the skinnier ledges too, just to try and you know dip below, reduce Moko's angles. But you gotta hit those decks against Moko. Easier said than done. Easier said than That's done. That's facts. I've been saying that's like one of the biggest lies in this game because you want to try and shield Fox's Nair, mm -hmm. but then when you shield, it locks you out of the Tekken team yep. for a fair amount yep. of time. So it's just like, yep. bro, I tried to outplay you, but I just died for it. <laughs> that parry was utterly bonkers. I can't believe this guy yeah. gets it done. There you go. There, it's the Mocha show again. Oh, excellent option coverage. Continues to put him in the vortex. Bro! Oh, this that was kid nasty. is so nuts. This kid, man. What's with MDVA and just like making top level boxes? Like, I don't get it, bro. It's kind of weird. Like, this, <laughs> like the box is a character. Like people were saying until oh, okay, that's yeah. people were saying until Light was actually cooking. Like I, when when he got the ingredients and started cooking and became like a top five player, you were like, oh, no, Fox fell off. No, 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 no. But now, now it's like it's it's low key spreading. Moko is kind of the ambassador of it right now. We'll see. If you get able to take this set, looking really, really poised to take this game three in this situation. Oh, nice forward air to full flash and ZD. He's racking up the damage. He is getting taking a lot of damage himself, but not as much as Moko, and that's going to lead to him being able to take the sock earlier than later. Do it. Oh, oh great angle right that there. An, that's an angle, man. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Like no options are no options are reliable against a guy whose recoveries are this consistent. His angles is that controller notched. I don't know if it's that or if he's just got that joint point blank pinpoint accurate. I think he's just got it like that, man. All right, but ZD has to punch this landing here. Not often go for anything. Just the fall speed from Fox just makes him in your face at the blink of an eye. Oh, bro! Another, another missed tech and a jab lock up smash. Moko is finding so much mileage off of those missed techs from ZD, and that's really something that ZD's gonna have to play around. And the thing is, that's the thing that's so difficult. Moko is varying his options so much. You never know if he's gonna fall on with you, fall on, fall, fall on you with a nair, and then you get put in a tech save situation. Even if you get put in a tech save situation, he's gonna read your option. Mm. He might go for a dash attack, and then go for putting you in the air, and then getting up air or back air. That, there's so much you have to worry about, and ZD looks like he's trying to match the pace by going Fox himself, because the wolf is kind of looking like a download. Yeah, for now. And so it looks like ZD in the orange, um, Moko in the red. I don't know why they couldn't have picked more different colors, but we out here. ZD never even plays his color. Oh, oh no, ZD always plays his color. Never, 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 never. Yeah, yeah. Moko plays every single color, so he yeah. could have made a lot of people. Yeah, he could have. He could have just gone back to the to, to the darker color. Like I don't know why. Wait, man, he's, he, yeah. he, he, he hates he hates the viewers and he hates the commentators, but he loves winning. We'll see if he's able to take that. <laughs> we'll see if he's able to take this set convincingly on the Fox Ditto or. Okay, so far it's pretty even. Oh no, here's the situation. Goes with the drag down forward there. Very daring, but another great angle to make it back. So it's weird against Fox and Wolf. It's You can kind of go for it because it, you can get the trade, and then like Fox falls so fast, he's actually near the blast zone by the time he recovers. Mm -hmm. So it's not as risky as Fox, but if you miss, it, it just sucks. Yeah, Fox is always a character that can never really go for the uh, for the uh, recover. Like, all stage plays that much. ZD got a little bit too much dip on his shit there. Oh. He, oh my god. What a what a what a mag what a magnificent drive. That's really unfortunate. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that sucks. That sucks. But an opportunity might present itself soon with the way he's playing up, but he has to hit these techs because now you're on platform with 83 it's, minimum. He, he, does, he does not drop these. He does not drop those. He's getting at least 20 or 25% or more off of every single miss tech. Knight finally catches it at the amazing Super Saiyan percent. Shout out Shaggy from Multiverse is going Super Saiyan. I love that game. I'm sorry. Same. We got to we, we do duos. Uh, no, no, no. We, we said we're going to do duos this week. We yeah, yeah. Fact, fact, fact. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Bet. Bet. It's a date. Yep. But anyway, let's get back into this game right now because ZD is trying not to be touched and failing right as I say that. But you see that no imp or that was no impact land. That was an A land. But still, mm. on that top platform to prevent a tech situation, ZD That's, firing on yeah. all pistons. It's a good thing that he's starting to get fired up because he, oh my god. That was a punish. I, I expected Z, I expected Moko to, like with how his reaction to been, I expected enough smash out of shield there. But what a read! What a read. Yeah, if that was a little bit fresher. I think ZD's awake, ZD's awake, ZD's awake, ZD's awake, ZD's awake. Yeah. ZD is awake. He's had to get his coffee. Yep, these are the, these are the type of, like, advantage to convert into a stocks that you would expect to see from ZD, consistently. Yeah, his fox is really, Fitting the bill tonight, and bro. Um, this still to up smash. Okay. Yeah, this guy is nary. This, like this is a ZD I was talking about. I mentioned in game one that this guy loves to jump. He's a very jump heavy player. We're seeing it now, and, and this is in a situation where he's just trying to extend his lead a little bit. Get that fast ball. There you go. Yeah. And, 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 and excellent. Not going for the firefox. So he wouldn't say Moko. Excellent job. Yep. Eat the hit. Don't. No need to do anything. You have a stop lead. Yep. You're good. You're good. We got ourselves a game five, and that's why I'm happy. I knew as soon as it was 1-1, I was like, we got ourselves a game five. I can call it here. Uh, I can feel it. I can feel it. Yeah. Just, there's, there's, a, there's a potent energy that goes into a set like this. If it's, if it's two very good spacey players, you anticipate that it will be either very close games or someone's getting blown up. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's one or the other. Either there's a skill gap or somebody's not able to match the pace of the other player or it's neck and neck, mm -hmm. like we're seeing here. And that ZD kind of picked the Fox, paying off dividends so far. Yep, yep. It's working out well. And looks like we're going to PS2 for our final game of the set and winner semis. Let's get into it. Moko with the green this time, ZD with the orange. All right. We see, I think Moko's going for a little bit more jump reads. We, just, we see him go for these four dares, potentially trying to catch ZD, trying to fall along with a Nair or something like that. So these guys are playing hopscotch. Yeah, these, these fellows are jumping. These are they're jumping like not even like it's it's it's, it's legit. Just Bart sits him. I'm gonna swing around my my arms and you get hit as your own fault. Yeah. Except he's just filling around his legs. Yep. I'm just gonna kick here and if you get hit, it's your fault. Yep. Kicking air. That's Lisa. <laughs> <Yep>. Lisa. <laughs> Oh, you're going to eat two of these here. Go for the back air for safe control this time around. ZD trying to read that jump with another back air, but Moko coming up swinging as Moko tries to read that jump as well, oh. potentially getting the kill. Oh, wow. Reversal from ZD and catches the, oh, the anti-air up smash. Excellent job from ZD. And that works especially effectively on a character like Fox, who really has no landing options if, the, if his back is turned like that. Yeah. Because the Nair is not going to be really a viable option. And if you space it well enough, like ZD's typically able to, then you can definitely beat out with the other. Moko has oh, no jump here. Miss, didn't trust it completely, or maybe Moko SDI'd up, but I don't know how much you can SDI mm. for there. No nice. Way. No, my Zach. Darby. God, you know, the ZD is looking so cracked right now. It's like, oh, I said he woke up earlier. Now he's wide awake. Yeah. Now you have time for a second cup of coffee, which I mean, he is fully awake right now. But Moko, I mean, stopping the bleeding a little bit, but got him. Yep. That that's the bait air dodge. That's one one of the few times where you want to get hit by Fox up air because I think there was a chance you could have thrown mm -hmm. that one. Up yeah. Fast, there's no chance in hell. Yeah, I think the thing is, Moko, oh my god, now ZD with a big conversion, yeah. so much damage. It's already half your stock gone. This is, okay, Moko finding a good opening there, and they able to get some damage off it, but now ledge type situation. ZD being a master of the craft. Now he's going to get that. Oh, oh that sucks. Oh, That's so bad. Unless. That is so bad for unless. ZD. Unless. Oh, man. Now, the thing is, it's still ZD's favor. He could definitely get a Nair up smash right about now, any second now. And he just went for it there. But now we see Moko's in his meeting you in the air, catching your jumps, calling out. But there's the kick jump caught from Moko, getting smoked by the pairing up smash. ZD with the astonishing adaptations going to take it over Moko even after those extremely close first three games. But game four and five was looking 
like Kukic. Yeah. For sure. I was really worried when I saw that SD there because I've seen, I mean, I've seen ZD win those, but I've also seen ZD lose those because he gets it in his head on that SD. And when you get in your head against Moko for even a second in the Fox Mirror, you might take 80, 90%, and then by then it's an even game. I was Facts. really scared for just like a second there, but Facts. ZD's saying, you have nothing to worry about here, man. I got this parry, I got this up smash. We're good, we're good. We're yeah. in winner's finals for a reason. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That was a, I'm glad I got to, that was, that was the first.